All right, what you see here is a Hunter right at home ceiling fan in the Hunter green finish with bright brass accents. I got this off of OfferUp back in January of 2016, along with Brandon C. Johnson. There was two of them, and I got this one, and he took the other one as it was going to another collector. Um, he did a video for that one, then Mark Wilson had it for a little while before he drove it out to a Fanimation trip. But before going to Fanimation, he met up with fan collector John Reed, and the second one went to John Reed. So, um, yeah. And this fan is from the second quarter of 1996. So it's a very, so it's one of my um, first fans as like a collector. I mean, compared to now, I st then I was like in a, I was like kind of already getting like a collection forming up and such, but it's nothing compared to how it is now. But I'm definitely a fan I'm glad that I got. And this was actually a fan I was supposed to get even earlier than January 2016. Originally, I was going to go and get it back in like April or March. No, not March, um, like April or May of 2015. Then, like, but um, what would happen is, it was on Craigslist, but the ad disappeared. And so I tried to assume that they were already sold. And then, back around no October, November of 2015, I started using OfferUp. And I found the exact same fans on OfferUp. And what had happened is the user, the seller just didn't want to keep you posting them on Craigslist every week. Just so to like have them advertise that they're being sold, which I understand that's the reason why I stopped trying to sell stuff on Craigslist too. But um, what had happened was I was supposed to pick them up back in November with Brandon C. Johnson, and um, the same day um that I went to Habitat with him, where I got the low profile two and antique brass off him, the white infinity, the code up stratosphere hugger and polished brass. The White Infinity, by the way, not the other ones I have. And the um, Galaxy Table Fan. I was really supposed to get this along that, those fans that day, too. But what happened was, by the time I met up with Brandon that day, the seller didn't send us an address to go pick him up. And we were waiting for a response, never got one. So we just saved it for another time. So, um, yeah. So that's the story behind getting this fan. Now, the story behind... Why I wanted this fan to begin with is, one, it's a green fan. You don't see that all, all that often. And two, these are actually somewhat of a childhood fan for me. Originally, when I did a video of it back in 2016, I stated that it was very similar to a fan that I saw at my friend's cousin's house. But it wasn't exactly the same. It was like a Hampton Bay version. Turns out that um, green one that I had seen back then was actually a Hunter right at home, not a Hampton Bay knockoff. The reason why I thought it wasn't Hunter right at home because that one actually had a pink in between the um what, the two pink rubber there was two pink things in the motor housing there was it was completely pink so I thought that it was not a hunter version but then I was close and I'm like you know what it looks just like the hunter right at home at the old picture I have of it but but I just had that and then when I posted it on the groups asking about that they said they. It was something that the Hunter right at home would come with knowing if obviously had the option of adding like a little decoration rubber s strip around that portion, which I'm guessing when it, whoever bought these two originally didn't, or whoever bought this and the other one originally didn't use them, so that's why they don't have them. Which is something you don't really see on them all that often, I guess. So, yeah, I know they came with like a reddish, a pinkish one, and a bluish. One I think, which I think the blue would look very off on it, anyways. But um, yeah. I mean, the interesting thing about that one is they actually had one walnut blade facing down. The other four blades were the green blades. I found that very interesting. It might still be this to this day. I'm not sure. Um, I think my my friends' cousins from that house have moved out since then, but I'm not sure the fan's still there to this day. But um, I haven't seen it through the windows with the lights on at night. But I'm not over there that much like I used to be. So yeah. But, um, yeah, it's also one of the only, might be one of the only higher-end type fans that are in this coloration that you can find. I mean, I don't, from what I know, Cosmog never made any green fans like these with the brass accents. I know Craft Made has made some like that. And Emerson, I think, did as well with, like, the 
these NFTs, I'm not sure, but um, it's, it's not like the basic like Kmart, Walmart type thingy that were in green, which is I actually have a video of something like that, except it only works on the reverse function, not on the downdraft. But um, yeah, go ahead and give it a test with the lighting. As you can see, it does work. Gets off a very good amount of lighting. It's using four LED light bulbs, so um, any four light ceiling fan is bound to get off a good amount of lighting unless it they're like very small light bulbs on it. I'm gonna show the lighting around me. Let me give it an accurate testing for how much light it gives off. Definitely lights up the space pretty well. And, um, yeah, something I'll mention before I, um, start to fan off, actually, let me show the light, but maybe show the top area for the tag. So, um, yeah, and there's the Hunter logo right there. But, um, something I've mentioned, I forgot to mention is since I've last tested it, the chain on this one's a little bit messed up now. Still runs, but I figured I'd show you what I mean. When you pull it, it kind of gives like a double pull. So I pulled it once, but it's actually on medium. Pulled it again, now it's off. So basically it's like doing like a double click when I pull it, which it... So, yeah. So if I do like a very, you not know, like a full pull on that can get it to pull the way it should. Um, yeah. If I was, whenever I do install this somewhere or at some point, if I, whenever I get my own place, it's something that I can see myself installing somewhere. Maybe like a, if it was like a dated looking kitchen, I'd consider putting this there. But um, yeah, if I was installed, I definitely would get that fixed and swap it off another fan pull but I um, mean yeah this fan and the other one they were like in a dual install in the kitchen living room area I'm guessing that this one was in the kitchen because the shades on this one have a little bit of they had a little bit of grease on it and the blades on this had a little bit of grease on it as well so I'm guessing this is the one that was in the kitchen and the person removed him because he wasn't that big into ceiling fans he had actually three other fans in the house when we went to pick him up Two Hampton Bay, Burlington Ford ceiling fans and white and polished brass, and a Casa Monica Zephyr ceiling fan and white and polished brass as well, but that was a five blade Zephyr. And um, Brandon actually ended up getting that fan like a year later, that when he actually removed that one. And um, the Hampton Bay ones, I'm pretty sure they're still there to this day, because he told me if he was to ever sell those, he would like put them on Craigslist or like offer up a, or nowadays Facebook Marketplace. But I'm guessing he just never took them down because they were like in a guest room area. But, um, same time, if there were the antique brass ones or the white version or the brushed, nickel, brushed steel one, I'd probably be more interested in them. But, um, yeah. But, yeah, he also does not, he was kind of sick of seeing these fans in the sense that, it's not that he didn't like the fans, but it was just the house was, like, everything in the house was green. Green countertops, green, like, door frames, like, green counters, and these fans, so I mean, I can, so he, it was just so much green, he was just trying to de-green the house, basically. And, um, Brandon was kind of making fun of, like, oh, I'm sorry, but, um, just a heads up. That truck's, his, his, well, his vehicle at the time was a green one, so, yeah. But, um, yeah. I'm sure it's white. It's definitely something I can see, like, in a restaurant or a diner. From like they have like an eighties, like in the late eighties, early nineties look, or like a nineties look in general. I remember back in on um, when I did the video for said that it reminded me like of something that you would see like in on the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, like in, um, like for an example, the butler on that show, Jeffrey, he had like the very fancy looking bedroom, not like fancy, but it was like a very elegant type of room. I feel like I could see something like this in there.
But I mean, I can see this in like a library or you know, there's just so many places that I can, that I can see. It's hard to describe, but like, I definitely can see it in a diner, like a like a very like a family owned diner of some sort. Not like a it's a, a retro looking type, like a one that hasn't like been updated in like the past twenty ish years or so. Oops. Got it, though. The chain's a little funny. All right, now for medium. <clears throat> but yeah, actually, for those who remember, this fan actually was supposed to be installed back in the old apartment. Originally, I was trying to get the password two installed in the dining room at that place first, and then get this one installed. But the day before, we were supposed to install the password two. We got a letter from the landlord saying that they, that we had like a month to move out because they were selling the building. So obviously, plans of this being installed were held off. So, and never got installed, unfortunately. But also, it, I, it had a dimmer switch in my mom's room, so I didn't want to put this up right away. Until we got that switched out. And it also, there wasn't a box there, it was like an older article box. That was, so basically, the, those flush mount ceiling light we had there, otherwise known as a tit light by a lot of people, it was just drilled into the ceiling. So this wasn't really the safest, to put, it wasn't safe to really install this one. So, but at least I get to hold on to it until I get my own place. But yeah, it definitely gets off a nice breeze on the medium speed. Originally, we were going to put the Hunter Discovery in my mom's bedroom, but I figured this would look a little bit nicer because the only thing she really likes about the Hunter Discovery is the shade, and I could have put that on any fan in all honesty. But I figured this would look more nice for her room. It would match better. And also, it would give off more lighting, which is something I felt was important because the Hunter Discovery, although it's nice looking, it probably wanted to light, light up the room as well as this would. But I mean, if you were to see this, it's very, very obvious that I was looking at. Like, if you see this, like, in a place that hasn't been renovated for a while, it's definitely obvious it's, like, a place that hasn't been touched since the 1990s. I could even see these, like, in fast food restaurants, like, an older Burger King or some sort. There's a lot of, like, businesses that, and such that, like, I could see these installed in back in the 90s. Yeah, I can see them like fitting in, that is. Alright. Off the way, and now to move it up to the high speed. So now it's off, and then one more quick. I guess I can move it up quicker to the speeds I wanted to, with the chain being like that. I was kind of trying not to pull it so many times because I don't want it to give out on me while I have it up right now. So I figured let me just pull the amount of time that I really need it to just to get it where I need speed wise or to shut it off. It moves a great amount of air, obviously, for a spinning motor hunter. I mean, it's not cost block, obviously, but I mean, definitely it moves a good breeze. Definitely enough for like a bedroom. Living room setting. Oh, at first I was um when I was going to install my arms room I was going to have it flush mounted because I thought these would have came off a green down rod but it turns out these would have came off a polish a bright brass down rod so now that I know that I it won't feel as weird installing this off a bright brass down rod whenever I do install it somewhere if I do have to install it on a down rod at least. Also figured I'd bring it back for a remake since we had the whole December coming up, 
well, it's December time now and such. And I feel like it definitely gives a nice holiday feel for and such if you celebrate Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, or Christmas. And I can see this, like, in a living room with a Christmas tree in the background, so I figured, or, like, Christmas, like holiday decorations in the background, so I figured it's would be a nice fan to bring back for a remake for the holiday season. It's definitely one I've been wanting to do a remake of for quite some time now, actually, so it's perfect timing. Also, I f did forget to mention in early in the video that these are, when these were being sold, they were Home Depot exclusive fans, so. And something I kind of find interesting about that is that something I've noticed is in areas that have a lot of Home Depots, when it comes to, like, seeing fans on, like, selling apps or something, when it comes to Hunter fans, I usually would see a lot of home Hunter fans from Home Depots or such being resold the most. However, with these fans, not as often. <clears throat> All right, let me shut off and do spin down. Now it's on low. <clears throat> but um, yeah, for, back to what I was saying, like, I definitely see a lot of Hunter Passport 2s and 3s on those sewing apps, Hunter Stratfords, um, the Home Depot version of low profiles, basically a lot of Home Depot Hunter fans I'd see, especially from like the 90s and such, but the right at home are like ones that you, I never see, so I find it very interesting. Now you don't really see those as much. Maybe they, I guess they didn't sell too well. I know they were like sold like the mid to late nineties. I don't think they were sold into the two thousands or like, so. Yeah, but um, they did come in th four different finishes. This one that you see right here. There was like a reddish finish. I forget what it's called. But um, I know like they had a different name. I do have another right at home as well in the um. I forget the other that finish name too. But um, they have it in this, and it's a white version. I can off, and then it's the off white version that I have, and then there's like a reddish one. But um, a lot of people seem to like this one the most, just because it's very unique in the green finish, which I agree. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and start it off on low. Something I was thinking while I was putting this back up is that I wouldn't be a bad fan to like have installed like in a room if you're like my mom my mom and well my fam my family celebrates Christmas. So like it would be definitely a fan I think would have cool like if you had a Christmas tree in a room and put this like up this way like, the month of December just so 
compliment the Christmas tree. I feel like it would be a bit much to do each year, but who knows? And also with the bell-shaped vents, I think would complement it as well. All right, not for medium. Yeah, there was, it is pretty obvious though that green decorations were very work of trend back in the 1990s. So that is why you kind of, you will sometimes see stuff like this show up. But obviously it's not really a trend that survived into the 2000s, so. I mean, Verde kind of survived a little bit in like the early years of the 2000s, but I kind of, I don't see it as like a, the same thing as this. Since, I mean, they are a greenish finish, but this one's solid green, whereas the Verde is like a little bit different. And also they weren't like, the blades were, weren't like completely green like they are in this, so yeah. <clears throat> Definitely a quiet fan. I have to move the styrofoam out of the way from this kind of seat that I'm sitting on. It makes noise every time I move. It does have a tiny bit of a wobble. I'm noticing on the high speed on reverse. And I'm, and I'm not surprised because one of the blades is a little bit out of alignment, but I am not going to try to bend it back into place because with these blade arms, that's basically going to be impossible possible without damaging them. So, um, yeah. That'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for more videos to come.